All right, what is going on, everyone? And welcome back to more Black Desert. As you guys know, today was patch day. We got the new Scholar class and a bunch of other goodies. And so in this mini series, we're going to be playing the new Scholar class. We started it on seasonals just because they gave us another ticket and you get a lot of goodies for leveling up. So I hope you guys are going to enjoy our mini series. We're going to basically play this as if we were a new player. Obviously, I'm going to have some benefits because I've played seasons before. But I want to talk about things you can do, uh, places you guys can grind as well. And I think now is a good time to start because we have an event going on where it's like a thousand percent XP. So this is going to be like extremely fast leveling. And um, if you are a new player, I will show you some tips as places where you can grind even with like no gear yourself and how I go about doing seasons. So you guys can follow along and enjoy everything. So with that said... Let's do this. If you skip this tutorial, you cannot complete it later. Com proceed with the tutorial? No. Um, we've always talked about this, and a lot of people always ask me which one is the best place to start. I think Ancient Stone Chamber is always the best one, whether you're a new player or not, simply because it is the closest to a town, and it's like connected to the places where you would grind to level up. Um, Mountain of Eternal Winter, I've done this before as a starter character. It's not bad. A lot of it's story. And the same thing with uh, Land of the Morning Light. This one is just like a 400 quest line chain, which I would not recommend doing it. I know they say it's recommended for veteran players, but man, this one's just a storyline. And I don't think there's really any point to doing that unless you just like doing it for the quests. Mountain of Eternal Winter... It's not bad. It just starts you off like way at the bottom of the map and leveling up there isn't like the greatest, but it, ultimately it doesn't matter. So ancient stone chamber is generally the best one in my opinion and you'll be fine. So either way, like I don't know how I feel about the scholar. So if any of you have played Final Fantasy 14, you guys know that scholar is like, you know, one, a healer. And two, like, you don't use hammers, you use book. Because scholar means, like, education and all that stuff. So, like, you're smart, but you're using a hammer. And I was watching some other people play scholar uh, on the Global Lab the other day. And it looks like Sage and Guardian. So I'm pretty excited for that. Um, so for this series, I do want to just mostly show you guys where to grind, but at the same time, I want to level up fast as well. So I will be using a little bit of extra like advantages that I have, like infinite potions, but like ultimately, I don't even think I'll really need them. I'm just kind of setting them in case I do, but realistically, you probably won't even need potions on seasons. Like, I don't think I do either. Alright, so anyway, with that said, we got a new season. Let's talk about it. Did they change this? Um, one exchange for family. I think these are the same rewards as last time. You get about like a hundred, maybe a hundred and twenty seals of journey every time. Uh, what I've used was the mythical sensor. I've gotten the... Floramos accessory, so that's the tri monos basically equivalent. And then <clears throat> everything else. So I am not sure what I'll take this time. I'll think about that later. But anyway, what we're gonna do is start zooming. I'm gonna have to get through the tutorial first. Honestly, we don't even have to do the opening. We could just straight up start grinding if we wanted to. But I gotta get to like level 6 to get everything set up. Hold RMB after hammer strike. 
<clears throat> okay, let's see. What skills do we even have? Succession isn't even out yet. We got Hammer Strike, which is my LMB. Or Hammer, like, normal attack. RMB is the same thing. Drop Kick is an F. Hammer Punch is an E. Okay, so LMB, RMB, F, E. I got it. F. Dude, what in the world? I'm convinced Pearl Abyss doesn't know what the term scholar actually means, but that's fine. God, I gotta turn my main quest line on. Yeah, so I would recommend doing this right now because we have our combat XP a thousand percent on. So whether you AFK on a dummy all the way to 61 or not, it's going to be really fast. It's actually, it actually feels pretty nice to be able to actually do something different. Because recently, I guess the past um, month entirely, I've been just straight up grinding the Ulakita area. And our goal is to go for the telescope pieces. And we got the same one twice. And we're almost at a million trash loot. So once you get a million, that's like a free 30 billion silver I could dump. But I think I'm going to save all my trash loot until we get the telescope piece from the City of the Dead, like the one we want. And then we'll just get a nice silver payout once we're done. Hopefully it's soon though, because getting 30 billion silver would be nice. Also, I do believe you get some rewards for leveling up on your seasonal, like there's an event going on. So I'd recommend doing that right now. Defeat small tree spirits, defeat gray wolves. Ah, the guardian jump. Okay, so I hold F. Do I actually care about doing this? I'm not sure. I think I'm just going to go to Velia and start leveling up. By doing the quest line, you do get some inventory and like those little bag thingies that you can increase so we'll hold the quest for later but if you are a veteran player oh god hold on game crashed
Did they change the anti-cheat? Hopefully. Oh, God. All right, boys. <laughs> Sorry for the black screen. Sound was on, but it just turned off again. We're going on a journey, Velia. For a new player, what I would recommend all of you doing is just doing the quest line, get to Velia naturally. <clears throat> I am such a lazy individual. Oh my god. <laughs> Did everything else save? Oh my. Oceans didn't even save from the crash. Christmas music. I hope you guys have a wonderful holiday, by the way. Whether you watch my videos up until Christmas or not, I hope you and your family have a wonderful holiday, actually. And hopefully we'll be doing some big stuff in the new year. Alright, so... Take out our tier 10 real quick. Here's where I grind from early on. You start at Castle Ruins. Your accuracy might be a little bit lower. Um, I actually have no idea what says Scholar. Let's see. The way you can figure out what your class like is. Like, is it evasion, accuracy, HP, AP, you know, the stat bonuses. You get DP and accuracy for... This one. So, I think Scholar looks like it is a DR class. Um, does it matter? I have probably not. But, I guess we'll find out later on. Uh, it does seem like a melee class, so DR... Probably is going to be the way to go. But, we'll see. But for all of you who are just looking up how to level up fast, let me give you some tips. Alright, first of all, if you have this, I've always talked about this before. Get all your seasonal crystals and you'll get some extra XP. Put that on. For all of you who have extra EXP things, what you want to do is get combat light stones. Because it gives another 400%. It's very cheap, actually. They're like minimum price on the market. So it, there's no excuse not to get them. Um, let's see. You can get these from previous seasonals. So you probably have a bunch of extra ones. And you might as well just use it. Other ways of getting XP quickly. Simple cron meal. Buy those off the market. Use some scrolls if you want to. I'm just going to be zooming through levels really quickly, just so I can get the rewards and show you what it's all about. Alright, so... Uh, hold on, I have something on my main. 
Where did the book go? Okay. I'm glad you could just take things off your other characters. Do I have... Oh, I can't even wind roar, even if I have the gear. It's fine. It's not a big deal. Do I have any silver on this character? Uh oh, I don't. Gotta pull some silver out. Head to Vala Sledgehammer. People are going hard early on. I think most people just want to get the rewards on Scholar and then go back to whatever they're doing on their main. So, yeah, just keep in mind, you guys can do the same thing I'm doing. I, admittedly, I do have a little bit of an advantage from journals and stuff. But, like, from the few earlier levels, just, when the name is purple, you're going to be doing a... You're going to get a lot of misses, so don't get, like, discouraged. You just keep hitting them until their name goes, uh, like, red and then not red. So, the XP is going to be, like, super fast. So, let me just pop these, that... Um, I think I need anything more in particular. Ooh, that's a flashy ability. <laughs> Bro, just hit the thing. Straight missing. If you want to actually just go hard, you could buy one of these beast drafts. Do I think they're necessary? Not at all, but it does give you some extra stuff. You could get more accuracy with these if you wanted to. Wait, that's not accuracy. Um, with elixirs if you want to, but it's not a big deal either. This is really just going for more XP. If you have a Doom Horse, you could just like clap these, and I don't think accuracy even really matters. Oh, at level 16, you get access to day and nighttime. I don't really understand why that's a big deal. Like, I guess nighttime makes things harder. Oh, shift Q. Holy, that's a cool ability. Okay, so... Down LMB. Ooh, that's fancy gravity field. Is down... RMB. Definitely like a sage. Cool. Can I I want to quick slot these just to like look at the cooldowns. Down RMB, down LMB. One small step is up F. Down E. Dude, I I hate down E buttons so much. Like my fingers just don't it doesn't click. Down E. Yeah, that's going to be one I'm going to be hotkeying for a while. Okay, but I I can do down F. Grandpa Kron! Imagine... Give me a red one. What did we get? We didn't even get anything from that. What? This box, we killed it and it didn't even do anything.
So yeah, once the names aren't purple, you just uh you should be fine. And then we'll go to the next spot really shortly. So you can go to Bloody Monastery at 23. I you can stay here until like lower 30s if you want. I personally like just go because it gives more XP, but if you feel comfortable in one spot, you could just stay there. Plus we're on the fat XP bonus, so you can even probably stay here till like 40 if you wanted to and it's it won't be that bad but we'll move just to show you okay so this has a lot of down attacks which is one thing um like you know if you play valkyrie valkyrie has a lot of down attacks as well which is what made me like I, it's just hard doing down attacks for me it just doesn't click in my brain weird One day. Sounds good. Get me out. Alright, so our next spot we're going to be going to is... Bloody Monastery. Probably this on. Okay, so let's see what other ones. So it's E into up E. Hammer in the knee. Someone there plays Skyrim. I don't actually remember. When do you get... Um, Naru gear. Do you have to talk to the NPC to get it? Or do you have to actually go to like Fugar in town to upgrade it? I don't remember. But either way, it's not a big deal. We're just gonna zoom through things. I actually did my uh, five mythical sensor attempts that you got from your free tier nine earlier. Of course it didn't go. But at least that brings up five more stacks. Not place on a road. God, I hate this tent sometimes. Excuse me, that's rude. This is actually the Elvia Bloody Monastery rotation as well. So for all of you who are looking to do that. Okay, so F into up F. I don't know how to control that. Oh my god. We're going to be leveling up really fast here just because all the XP bonuses plus the event. So I guess it's a good time to start learning things. Down LMB. Down RMB. F into E. Down E. I think I'm learning thing. I'm leveling up too quickly. <laughs> it's not a problem, but... When do you get the rewards through your seasonal? Do those start at like 50? It's been a while since I've done this. We'll do some enhancing as well when we get it. Enhance a Naru weapon to plus three. You get Naru from Black Spirit? Oh yeah, we gotta have this one on the buff as well. They shouldn't even give you this bloody monastery thing on non-Elvia.
Also, for all of you who are new and you think you have to play on the season servers, you don't have to. Um, I would recommend doing it for new players just because you get the extra materials. But for people like me, I barely even go on the season servers just because I just I don't care. I can usually get full pen Tuvala every season without going onto the season server once. Sometimes I do it, but most of the time I don't. I don't know how to control this. <laughs> just she kind of just jumps and it's like yeet. I like the down RMB. Down LMB. Holy. You could stay here till mid 40s if you feel comfortable. I've definitely done that before. Something got sold. Oh my crescent ring. Down F during hammer throw. Oh, that's such a cool ability. I'm still convinced that Prolibus doesn't actually know what the word scholar means. So once you're at 35, you can actually start moving to a new spot. Um, let me get to 35. I you can, I just like to move as soon as possible and then level up as fast as I can. While your gravity core is installed, what does that mean? I like the big jump. Literally, if you like Sage and Guardian, I think this will be for you. Okay. Um, I actually don't even remember how to get Naru gear. I think you have to like talk to Fugar in town or something. Um. But it, you just get it? Oh, you have this too. Uh, I think I'm going to go talk to Fugar in Heidel real quick. Also, did they even change the season pass rewards? I don't really think that these are worth buying, like, the second row. I just, like, yeah, it is value, because the outfit box is basically covers the cost, plus a few maids and some cron stones. Those are always cool. But I just don't think the rewards are worth it. Like, they used to be good. Not anymore, they're not. Even as a new player, I'd be concerned about buying them. You guys ever wondered what what the difference between having a tier 9 and 10 unicorn is? Can run on water. Sometimes it's nice, but I don't think it's a new player friendly horse. Cuz like this is what you can do. Ooh, water. You can run on it. Fun. All right, Fugar. I've done every single season. Speak to Fugar. When do you even get Naru gear? Like, I don't even understand. I'm 
Okay. I mean, like, it doesn't really bother me, but... Here's where we go next. Marnie's lab. I don't think you have to be on a season server to get the gear. Shouldn't matter. Gotta love running in this game with 26 AP. Literally just don't get hit. Yeah, I should definitely have Naru gear right now. But it's like, I don't even know how to get it. <laughs> it's been so long. Honestly, worst comes to worst, I just horse butt everything to like 50 and then go directly to Tubala. I really doubt we'll be taking an hour to get to 50. So. Run on water. This is why I can't wait to get the Krogdalo Sanctuary. Just to swap between all three of them at once. It's one of those like very rng carried or very end game player thing where you get all three tier 10s and then basically you can call from all three of them at once and then it's just nice to have it's uh do you play the game a lot do you like lighting silver on fire if yes then it's for you So you might miss a lot until mid 40s, but it's not really a big deal. The XP you get here is super worth. Oh, did they actually change the servers to seasonal? I thought they were moving the season PvP one, making it anonymous. Jagar Motsin. Ooh, S rank. Honestly, doing seasons is how I fill out a lot of my knowledge because there's no shot I'm going back there on my main into these places. Okay, that, and then hold F. We're almost close to the point where the monsters start turning red difficulty and I'll be hitting higher.
Oh boy. I was not even in it. Don't tell me I actually have to go on the season server. I don't think you have to go on the season server to get Naru. Well, either way, I'm proving to you guys that you really don't need gear to do seasons. If anything, <laughs> I'm just using what the game gave me. Oh, not even. So I think mid 40s to like 45 and then you'll be good here. And then you go to uh, Calfion or the Catfishman camp. You'll be good here. I mostly just want to learn the movements and how to get do things faster. Okay. What is that? Whatever that was, that was cool. You can throw your hammer and then what? Oh, you could teleport back to it? Oh my god. Megu's in shambles. So you throw a hammer and you teleport to it. Pull up. DKs are not happy right now. Dude, they need to stop making teleport classes. Remember when... Megus, well, Megus do have it, but remember one day it was so P people were actually mad that they couldn't track the clones and then they kind of nerfed it. This isn't as bad, but man, it's like free escape. You about to get grabbed? Yeet, not anymore. We're not. Dang, I thought the dude got 64 on a season. I was like, what in the world? All right, uh, somehow we need to find out how to get Naru gear. But until then. You got a Calfion. There's a uh, Fugar in there. Hold up, let me see. have the stones to do it characters who have completed the Serendia main quest line can go to crow merchant chief fugar we literally talked to fugar in heidel to exchange for naru gear but he didn't want to talk to me oh, i might have to turn these on that explains so much I hate how it's not on by default. Alright. Um Calfion. Calfion City. Dude, Pearl Abyss. Turn these quests on all by default. That way newer players and myself don't get confused. I wouldn't have had a problem. Like I can probably get myself to mid-50s 
without any gear on, but not so good for newer players. He still doesn't want to give me any gear. I think I might actually have to do like some quests to, <laughs> to do this. Hold on. Let me turn the main on. So let me see. Naru weapons can be exchanged. Characters who have completed the Serendia main quest line. Bro. Did they really? We're going to Catfishman Camp. No Naru gear for me. We're going straight there with 20 AP. Probably not a good idea, but we learn new things every day. It is what it is. You could run on water. You can't stop me. Actually, running on water is uh, like it drains your stamina really quickly. That's why you have to actually, if you're island hopping, you get to like paddocks or something, you have to actually stop on every island. I've tested it. Where do I park my horse? Throw my hammer. Oh, never mind. Doesn't work like that. Alright, so we're probably going to miss a little bit, but that's fine. But either way, this should get us up to like 50, 51, and then you start actually playing the game. I might actually have to do some quests to get to Nark. <laughs> it's like, I have no idea. I At least this proves to all of you that you don't need gear to get to 50. What a fun experience. Down E, shift L and B. That is a long animation. Where did the hammer go? We'll go do the quest line after this and get Naru gear, then we'll enhance it. Did they make the change where you don't have to eat the, like, crystal thingy to get to 50? Well, I guess we'll see in about 2%. Why did you teleport backwards? Is it, like, directional? Uh, you could stay here till 51. It's not a big deal. But if you don't... I think the hardest part is... Uh, getting out of here. Yeah, there's a lot better places. But if you want to and you just feel comfortable, you can stay here to 51. We did that in 40 minutes. 45. Okay, not bad. I still don't have Naru gear. I think we actually have to do these quests, so let's go do them. Freaking game is like... <laughs> they, I guess they don't expect you to just power level yourself to 50 really quickly, and then you're just like, oh, okay. Well, 0 to 50, no gear on. Everything is straight XP. 
All right, so by this point, um, let's see, where are we? We got all the way up to 50, so it's roughly around over here. And we just get Naru to pen. Yeah, we'll go. Go back to Valinos, do those dumb quests, and then get the gear. But I just want to say, I hope this proves to all of you that if you think you just can't do it, maybe it's you. <laughs> I don't know what to sell you. I don't even really think I needed potions that entire time. Like, my health barely moved. So, yeah. I think I had my infinite potion set up. But I don't think I used it. So, we're good. All right, so let's take this opportunity to do some quests and then we'll get the Naru gear, enhance it. It'll be really fun. Every season I get nervous because I go on the forums or something in Reddit and see that someone runs out of durability on Naru gear. And it's not that like you're spending silver or anything but it's like you're just unlucky enough to run out of durability i've never had that happen to me but every time i think that's gonna be me next time and it worries me all right so all right <sighs> Horse combat in this game is not really meant to be. You could do it, but it's not meant to be that way. How to not play seasonals. Oh, remember in the quest line, it's like, do you want to do the story skip or the other one? We skip it every time, but... It doesn't matter which one you pick, by the way. Let me go to Veli. I think this is where you can skip things. I'm not 100... Actually, no. I want to fight Red Nose on my horse.
This is how you would do it normally. And then... <laughs> like, it's weird. Give me my Naru gear. Find Fenia at the Northern Bridge. Why does it have me kill all these things again? Just throw your hammer. Imagine doing that at like 400 or 300 AP. You just throw your hammer and things get clapped. Dude, that's all I would do. And then teleport to it. Can you tag Scholar already? It would be pretty nice just uh, throwing a fat hammer with 320 AP at things. So this part teaches you basic life skills on like how to do eating and uh, not really cooking, but like teaches you how to hit your L button and then use the basic cooking. I just want to fight Red Nose on my horse and see what happens. Oh no, he's dead. Oh, you have to get off my mount. Oh, okay. Okay, we're not allowed to have fun. I think we were a little over leveled. Just a little bit though. Dang, I'm actually kind of disappointed you can't fight Red Nose on your horse. Unlucky. But yeah, I'll show you guys places to get to like 56 as well very quickly. Um let me. We're doing it so fast, the NPCs aren't even loading in. Now we just go to Velia. Oh, 
Unskippable. Welcome to Velia. Come here every day. Look at everyone choosing their tier 9 Ardenaut Pegasus horse. The best one. I hope all of you choose that one as well. For the free one. And uh, good luck to all of you going for your tier 10s. If you've been playing for a while, they gave one during the Heidel Ball. Which is in the summer. And then they gave another free one today. So if you're... You got two tier 9 for free. And if you got the... Uh, both of them, male and female. Good luck. Meet the chief. I'll never get 30k quests in this game. I, man, things are so repetitive. Maybe one day I'll get 10,000 quests by doing seasonals. They keep coming up with new characters for this game. I wish they would just balance things more, but it is what it is. Talk to Alistin, right? Or do we have to talk to this dude first? So, you only get this simplified when you beat the main story one time. It allows you to basically skip all the quest lines. You don't get the, like, quest credit, but you don't have to do it. <clears throat> so now we can talk to Fugar and get Naru gear. A little bit late, but we're playing the season out of order. Yo, we got Naru gear. Let's go enhance it. So what do we have to do first? Naru main weapon to plus three or higher. Cool. Wait, oh, that's awakening. Your main... Oh, bruh, both of these are hammers. Okay. Ants and armor to plus three or higher. Main hand of 15. So if you do that, what you do is chat with the Black Spirit and just say you've done it.
So you get a lot of goodies by leveling up, and we just kind of did this out of order. So we just get to, like, bypass it. It's like we're just doing it out of order. They need to get rid of these quests. Like, if they think one Blackstone is good, it doesn't even help new players. Like, you better give them, like, a better reward out of it. The inventory slots are nice, though. Okay, that's reaching level 55. Get all these inventory slots. All right, let's do some enhancing. Um, we equip these for now. All right, what do we have to do? Armor to 15 or higher. That's a Naru, right? Talk to the Black Spirit. Oh, wait. When they say armor, do they mean the chest piece? Enhance Naru armor to pen. If you cron Naru gear, you're doing something wrong. Just slam it on whatever stack. All right, we're caught up. Let's uh, enhance the rest of this gear, and then I'll show you how to go about doing everything else. We'll go get to level 56 and up. Man, if only real enhancing was this easy. So far, we're making it. We're not going to be the Reddit meme of the month. We're not going to be that guy that runs out of durability in Naru gear. If you guys enjoy watching this, though, like, I can... Once again, do another enhancing Naru gear. It's actually not that bad. Nar, I mean Tuvala. So all the main gear is 
Tuvala. Let's turn these into Tuvala as well. My guild must be annoyed that these notifications keep popping up. We made it another season, boys. We're not a Tuvala Timmy, and we... I'm just kidding. We're probably going to fail a lot. All right, so let's see. Main gear, all Tuvala. It's fine. Suddenly, we just jumped 100, like 300 gear score. That's pretty cool. And we still have stones to go. Very cool. Um... Yeah, you get a lot of these skill add-ons. Oh, we'll deal with that later. Let's see. Okay, so what I want to show you guys is how to get to level 56 really quickly. So what I do, this is also for beginners as well. I would actually recommend beginners doing this up to like 56 is... The reason why we go to Soldier's Grave is, one, it gives a lot of skill points, and two, because it is very helpful, because if you are new, you don't have a lot of inventory or weight. It's right near Heidel, so you can always just take yourself back there. There's also an NPC you can sell to Trash Loot, too. It's not a big deal. But it's just near town, just in case that you have to go back for some reason. Water can't stop us. What mountains can. You want to see something cool with the... When you... You could just hard slow drop on a tier 10. It's really nice. That enhancing session was like 10 minutes. We made it another season without going to zero durability in Naru. We're not the meme. That's fun. Okay. So. Are we missing anything? Um, I don't think there's like, there's no reason to hit half of these. So you should be able to get to like level 56 relatively easily here. And then we'll do the awakening quest line. I really hope they improve the awakening quest lines for all the characters. Heck yeah, this is where we start getting the rewards for 50 plus. Let's go. Infinite mastery. You can ignore the violence if you want to, because uh, they just kind of have a lot of health for everything
See how fast we're just zooming through these levels? If you are a veteran player and you already know what you're doing, um, I would recommend you know, just going to polys all the way to like 61 or something. One thing I kind of want to do is like, I want to, usually I like taking my time on seasonal characters, but at the same time, because we, you get, we get to like tag XP, if you're not on a seasonal character and you get like the free Tet Black Star at 61, I kind of just want to tag my other character and just go grind on my main and get it to 61. Like if you are actually new, like unironically, uh, stay on the season servers until you think you're actually done with it because it's, it's just easier. There's more XP bonuses and everything, but for people like me, I don't, I don't particularly need it. So I guess it just depends. I've been often asked when is the best time to get off seasons. It's like literally whenever you're full pen and you feel like you're done with everything, you get off the seasonal servers. I would say like around level 61 though, just because uh, by that point you should be like 240, 240 AP, 230, and then like your only goals after that is upgrading from boss gear. So for me, I'm just gonna Get full pen to Vala, and we are out of the server. Though realistically, with the event right now, getting the 61 should be super easy. Oh, uh, you can probably get to like 62. Yeah, I'm pretty sure like if I graduated early, I could get to 62 in five hours. This uh, tag it on my main, go to Gyphon. Well, I'm just, I just wanted to show you guys how to do all this solo. Just so new players can do it. Even though I did like half of the season out of order. <laughs> we got to like level 50 without any gear. And then, <laughs> then we enhanced everything and just like, all right, we're going to go somewhere else now. Very cool. What? They give you season? Oh, okay, cool. You got a 50 stack. Another 50 stack. Feel it, boys. The XP is slowing down. But it's still not bad, because... I've been to... Or I've been grinding at City of the Dead. That place is not EXP friendly, and I'm pretty sure I've gotten, like, 15% there. Almost in, like, 100 hours of grinding. For this dumb telescope piece. I could have been 66 on my main already if I just did all that at Gyphon, but gotta go for the treasure items. Welcome to Endgame. Dude, why is that such a long animation? I bet this class is going to be a really annoying to fight in PvP. Yvala main handed duo. Alright, let's first of all, let's get ourselves to.
How long will this take? Almost at 10% already. Okay, cool. So, our goal is to try to get to 56 really quickly, and then... Oh, you can double? You can... Oh my god. Do I have pets out? Okay, I do. Wow, one rotation was like almost or over 20%. That's nice. 1000% buff coming in clutch. I wonder if I could just hold Q and. Oh, wait. Well, I wonder what the timer is for that or the cooldown. Okay, so down E. So throw my hammer. Go over there. Slam. Up E. Another slam. Blow it with WF. So my movement is mostly going to be my Q. Throw to hammer. Go over there. Teleport. God, this is actually a really fun class. I just wish they didn't call it Scholar. Because it's like everything but Scholar. In terms of like definition. But, you know, it is what it is. Got a bonus. So WF is... Okay, toss myself to the hammer. WF down to move faster. Um, WRMB, LMB. making progress so actually learning things so okay so let me try this again we open with a Q right you throw the thing go in and then WF to like do the slam and then um 
W. Okay, so down LMB. Down RMB. Okay. Try this again. Q in. Hammer. So that's W RMB. Then it's WF to teleport in. Toss that on cooldown. Move in. Shift RMB to like dash. When I'm out of distance, you throw the hammer, go in. Shift LMB. Round slam when things are grouped. Hammer it. Toss. Throw. Grouped up. Round slam. Gap closer. Level 56. Not too bad. Hmm. All right, cool. So we got to 56. Next time, what we're going to be doing is the Awakening quest line. And we're going to go from there. So we also have to enhance our Tuvala stuff, which... I think we're going to be doing that on another character because that's where I have all my fail stacks. So if you need to sell things. All right, what can I get rid of out of my inventory? All of this garbage. See, what did the game give us? There's no level 55 reward. These rewards kind of suck. What in the world? A one day book of training. Okay, I guess. I mean, me. Scholar Ascension. I like how at 55 they give you more, as in, like, they assume that you failed and went to zero durability on Naru Gear. All right, so what I'm going to do is park my character. Uh, we're going to actually go to Velia because we're going to have to enhance all of our Tuvala stuff so far. And then we're going to split the video here. It's been an hour and a half. And next video, what we're going to be doing is enhancing our Tuvala gear and hopefully getting at least something to uh, pen. <coughs> so... Hold up. Let me actually do this now. Enhance Tuvala armor and main weapon. The duo. Wait. What in the world? Is it just guaranteed now? Wait, what the heck? Did they change? Oh, wait, that's a. That's not force. 
Is it just guaranteed? Uh, hold up. Is this new? This is new, right? Pause. Something's different. Do we just guarantee these to pen now? Is this how it works? Like you don't use fail stacks anymore? There's no like, I'm not forcing anything. Oh, up to try is where things get funny. Okay, I see, I see. Okay, cool. I didn't know that. Cool, now we know. Why is it 15? Oh wait, no, it's always been like that. Has it? I don't know. Yeah, I think it's always been like that. I just... in the world. Wait, it doesn't downgrade? <laughs> okay, well, I mean... They made enhancing Tuvala easier now. That's cool. I mean, not really complaining. It's not a big deal. I'm just like kind of shocked actually that they made the change. I never really had a problem. I've been playing this game since season one started and that's been like 14 seasons or something so far. I don't know, but it's like, I'm glad they made this change. Makes it easier for new players. I'm all up for that. But it's like... Interesting how they did that. Alright, well we learned a lot of new things today. I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Next time we'll be doing a few more cool things like the Awakening quest line. I don't know about enhancing anymore because uh, that changed, but... Things be different now. So, hope you enjoyed it. If you did... Uh, drop a quick like on the video if you're new to your channel hit that subscribe button i would love to see you guys come back we got some more cool stuff coming up and of course if you're not interested too much in the seasonals we'll be back on our main character in the future we'll be doing some grinding and other cool stuff so we got some goals to do on our main and uh, i'll see you guys next time peace